Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Why, hello there. Welcome back. So we did this Patreon exclusive asking the question, the Civil War Revolution beginning? Is it actually beginning right now? I think there's going to be opinions all over the place on that one. Um, you know, it, it's, it's to be expected. Again, we've done video going back all the way to January of 2018 uh, saying that sharing what I've seen going all the way back into the 80s, um, which is that we're going to have conditions of civil unrest in the U.S. along with what appears to be uh, some sort of red dawn scenario and natural disasters, all these things hitting at once. We could see how clearly um, this timeline is still in effect at this point in time. You have reports that North Carolina sheriffs are saying they're ready to st start arresting FEMA <laughs> feds if they continue to block rescue workers and pilots from saving lives and delivering critical aid. When you realize that the system that's supposed to be helping is doing the most harm, well, what can you do? Well, I, I'm happy to see stuff like this, that people are really standing up for themselves and they're coming up with solutions, they're coming up with answers. And that's exactly what we wanted. That's exactly what we've been pointing our energy toward. And there is a response. So I really want to encourage everyone to please continue to put out the energy of some resolution for these people and allow them to have peace, allow them to have understanding, allow them to have their lives back. I mean, so many lives have been shattered. This just is the worst. Yeah, there's so much more that you um, that I'd love to talk about in great detail and feel like you could talk about it with clarity and, you know, again, covering all the bases. There's so much that hasn't been uncovered yet. This person down here, StopWorldControl.com, says America absolutely needs to be informed about who the real powers are that have been owning everyone in this nation and talks about the British elites that have always been masters of this country. Uh, we've done videos going way back years ago, six years ago, seven years ago even, talking about it. this is true. Washington, D.C. is its own entity. So is Rome. So is London. Uh, you know, and we could talk about cities on seven hills, like with the Bible prophecy. And then you're going to talk about the same three places again, and we could add a few more in too, like Jerusalem. Uh, there's so much going on, so much discovery. People are waking up. Uh, people are awakening to things that are very, very disturbing, such as, you know, FEMA being caught as liars all the way back in 2007 when they faked a news conference. Yeah, it's all for show. All for show. They're actors in D.C. They're actors in London. They're actors in the, in the Vatican. These are all actors. This is all for show. It's all puppets. It's all puppetry. What's this? Albemarle Investors. Hmm, I don't know who put that there. What could that be about? This guy, you know, we, we've heard about the lithium mines. Everybody's heard about that at this point in time. Uh, you know, quartz as well. We've talked about electric cars and where they want to take that, even though the seawater uh, has caused so many and, and flooding situations on coastlines to go boom, create fires. Yet you also know BlackRock Vanguard are so heavily invested in this. And this little blurb here is, um, yeah, it's, it's about three minutes long. And he says, so be between Kings Mountain and Chimney Rock, North Carolina, is, it's one of the largest lithium deposits in the world. The rights are owned by Albemarle Global. And they on September the 24th, that wasn't long ago, guys, they actually applied for federal and state permits to redirect and reconstruct their mining operation between Kings Mountain and Chimney Rock. This is the area that just got hit the worst. So uh, it's owned mostly by stockholders. You know, again, BlackRock Vanguard, we keep seeing these groups. And one of the biggest investors in BlackRock and Vanguard uh, is, again, you know, uh, 
Kamala's hubby. Yeah, well, you know, it, these these people are opportunists. They're opportunists. And, you know, this is why they are recruited by the real control system. And that is uh, Albemarle's is headquartered in Charlotte. The real control system takes people that are very corruptible and corrupted, makes them even more corrupted, uses them because they are op opportunists and, and they're all about themselves. Again, the satanic system, it, it, it's not about service to others. It's about service to self. And that's what we find again, you know, in the Vatican too, as it was all about acquiring riches. The Vatican has enough riches to eliminate all hunger across the world. In reality, again, the system thrives on suffering. And this is what people are, are waking up to. 250 billion yearly in mining. Uh, again, it, it's, it's, they're all so corrupt. That it, they all got to go. And uh, yeah, permits, etc., goes all the way up the line. This is why they put those puppets in control and and work on getting them in control again. This is why you have the same corporations donating to both parties. It's so corrupt; it's just beyond obvious. And do you think that this could get any more obvious? Mm, here we go. You know, I mean, this is something that we have coming up now, and. Oh gosh, we have we have a lot of astrological uh, alignments to consider, and I I don't see the astrological alignments being destructive. I just don't. I I see them as uh, lights for us to follow and understand, and a, a magnetic pull for the human body, and to bring out certain things and shape our reality and help us on our journey. So I see the stars and the alignments as something that helps kind of nudge us along if we're getting stagnant or stale. Uh, I, I see this stuff is just definitely, definitely not good and not of a natural nature. You know, no matter how many people scream it from the mountaintops that, oh, this is, this is, you know, the earth, this is the sun doing this. No, it's absolutely not. I mean, how... I, I wish this could get out to more people who were just waking up, but we're just, we're not allowed. You can look at the stats and you can see that like 0.01% is allowed out there for other people to know and understand. But what we need is for more people to realize that the technology are, is a problem. And it's, it's people that are at the top are calling for this destruction and we really need to have a way to head off that and you know what is our 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 biggest uh our biggest thing that we can use to really head that off at the top is money it's energy it has everything to do with everything that these controllers want they have so much of it and if we are able to divert that energy and so it's not going to them i think maybe we could get somewhere we have to make a point we have to show that we're not going to tolerate this this is not okay and it's it, it's inside of each and every one of us we can each do at least one thing or get with someone else and do one thing to divert that energy from them and make a point so, you know, this, we've been watching this, and the likelihood of this formation was going up, and then it was going down, and now all of a sudden it's going up again. Uh, I was watching, you know, this forecast for a while, and you could see it has such an artificial component to this. And so, you know, this is likely now, it's looking pretty damn likely that we're going to have another hurricane. This is what we are uh, looking at, 92L, Invest 92L, uh, heading over. Now, Ventusky here is, or Ventus Sky, is um, heading over mostly towards Cape Coral down to Fort Myers, Naples area is what they're showing. Of course, this can change uh, as time goes on, and we understand that... <laughs> You know, there are ways to steer these things that has been revealed. This right here is over at Earth Null School. Um, and you can see it looks more like it's going to be a direct 
Tampa uh, shot. So, you know, right now we just got to keep our eyes open. Um, you know, our friends and family members that are down there that are hoping for a break because, again, we, we've been focused so much on uh, Asheville and, you know, North Carolina, primarily Tennessee, the Appalachians that got so hard hit. You know, there was utter devastation with the last one in Florida in those areas. Now, Florida's done a really good job because, um, you know, they're, they're a little bit more used to getting hurricanes than you are up in the Appalachians. But, you know, here you go. This is another one right on top. And there's a lot of areas that haven't even really fully drained completely that could have uh, this amplified effect going up into it. And, you know, we understand that, you know, like our good friend David Devine, you know, he, he's given more weight to the natural formation uh, of the, the gas giants where we think there's a hell of a lot more of geoengineering and weather control, which is now finally totally um, being acknowledged even by the mainstream media. Yet, you know, you're going to have no doubts that this is this is not an act of God. This is, again, an act of the control system, which plays God. And yet still, uh, unfortunately, we don't have people awake to that degree. So, you know, what, right now when we're looking at wind speeds, um, you know, 85 here, you know, Cat 2 maybe, Cat 1, Cat 2, we'll have to see because they, they could turn this into a 3 or 4 or possibly a 5 again. And it's really more about storm surge and 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 the soaking effect. Uh, you know, here you go again. And, uh, you know, feels that anywhere between Naples, you know, on up to the Tampa area seems to be in the bullseye at this point in time. But we'll have to to watch it. It looks like the steering winds should keep it from going up into Appal Appalachia. But you, you know you can't put anything out of there because of of weather control. And this weather control has been here for thousands of years, thousands of years, because it's not Homo sapiens sapiens. That's the ultimate controller. It's those beings that we know of um, as, you know, the reptilians, the Draco, that manipulate the human puppets to do uh, their bidding. And they have manipulated those that we call the fallen Pleiadians. Uh, that, and again, the myths, the Anunnaki, and also the Ijiji. Uh, these, these are the real controllers that have been manipulating this the whole time that get the world to worship them and give them power. And literally, will say when you come to uh, galactic intervention, well, the humans choose to give us their power. They pray to us every day. Mm. You know, I think it's really, really, really old where people say, oh, well, God was angry, so he just did this really horrible, horrific thing, and all these people died, and it was because they made God angry. That is so old. I mean, it really needs to go. It really needs to go. It needs to be placed where it belongs. These are controllers. It is not God. <laughs> They're controllers, and they have a purpose. And no, God is not angry at you. I mean, we could play that game and say, oh, oh, God was angry at people in Chimney Rock. And no, that is not true. These were some really good people. They were living off the land. They were doing good. They were fine. There was nothing wrong with these people. So the thing about God punishing, that's, that's what is holding us in this pattern, in this holding pattern, and it's keeping us stuck where everyone thinks, oh, you know, I just have to act better. I just have to do better. No, you just need to be you and you need to do the best you can. And I promise you, if a storm comes your way, it's not God. It's not God. It, these are controllers. So I think we need to place the blame where it belongs. So we need to, this way we understand how important it is where we apply our attention. See, energy goes where your attention is. So you apply attention to helping these people up at Chimney Rock, you're going to see more and more rescues. You're going to see uh, more, more angels and guides and then physical people 
getting involved because we are giving them their attention. And then if we make the uh, intent to divert these controllers energy flow from them and divert it right back to yourself, find a way to circulate the money within your family, find a way to circulate the money back to yourself. Just don't keep giving it to these corporations. I saw a sign that was uh, had this out at a local church, and uh, this is Second um, Corinthians here, f- six. Therefore, we are always confident, and though we know while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Now, you may take so many of these things; they've been so ingrained into you that you think they're good. But are they good? You walk by faith, not by sight. And you might think that walking by faith is good. You're walking by what they told you, not by what you're actually witnessing. Can you know, for those that are still ingrained, those that are still so brainwashed that they cannot understand this, this is literally saying, don't believe what you see with your own eyes, believe what we're telling you. This is absolutely, uh, it's gaslighting. This is what it's all about, a whole concept of original sin. Well, you know, they had it coming over there in Sodom and Gomorrah. Really? Well, yeah, the system tells us that they were perverts, you know, and doing all sorts of nasty things. That's the system telling you that. You know, that is, and again, you can say judgment is coming to the United States, and you can look at the leadership but the leadership is part of the system. So then everybody gets punished because, you know, the leadership is is atrocious? No. This is psychological manipulation of the entire world over an extended period of time that causes the victim to question the validity of their own thoughts, perceptions of reality, or memories, and typically leads to confusion, loss of confidence, loss of self-esteem, uncertainty of one's emotional or mental stability and dependency on the perpetrator. This is what the system has done to you. If you still believe literally in the Bible or the Koran and that whole concept of, again, original sin and blood sacrifice, you're just still totally, completely under the system's control. You have not woke up yet. You have not woken up. You're, you're still a walking zombie. You don't have a clue. This is what they've done to us for thousands of years. It's absolutely gaslighting to the highest degree. By the way, um, we haven't seen the KP rise much at all yet. So those impacts from both CMEs, the 7.1 and 9.0, uh, solar flares, they, they have not apparently arrived yet. Now, they, they seem to be moving a little bit slow, um, but we'll we'll keep an eye out. Again, they're calling for a G3 uh, KP index of 6 or 7. I think that's conservative if, if it is what it really is. But is it really what it really is? That's the question now, by, by meaning that the sun is a portal. Ships can come in and out of the sun, and and many ships do. They also will tether to the sun and draw energy off of it to recharge and refuel. When we're talking about the comet that's coming now, you know, from what we see, it's a ship. Uh, That little moon that's docking for a little while and then going to take off, that's a ship. You know, this is extraterrestrials that are disguising themselves and playing God. There's going to be some very, very, very interesting things coming um, with this comet, with this little moon that's going to dock. People, situations are going to change. Things are going to get brought up. I've really wanted to uh, try to take some time and sit down and and channel, but I haven't quite been in that situation yet because I want to understand it even more. And right now, the information that I'm getting is just very surface from the guides. It's just grabbed information, and I don't have time to sit down and really calm my mind and get into that place, get into that zone. But it's something that I want to do because I think it's a really big deal. That's what my soul says, that there, we're in for some huge changes. And energetically, if we know what to do with our minds and our bodies, 
we can do a lot with this energy. We can do a lot of good for others and we can do a lot of good for ourselves. You know, really when it comes to helping other people, it does start with with helping yourself. If you can make yourself stronger, faster, better, you are more equipped to help the next person. You know, to help maybe go on on the next ride to help rescue dogs. I mean, we we can't forget our our angels. These are our our four four-legged angels that have helped so many people through such hard times and our pets sometimes mean everything to us. And they're also our protection because many times our pets tell us, okay, you need to watch this situation. I know maybe you don't feel it, but I feel it. I I feel it and we need to keep an eye on it. And people listen to that. People truly believe their pets when their pets are trying to give them a warning. So in, in essence, they are angels. They're, they're just in a different body in a different form. Absolutely. So again, guys, thank you for being subscribed to all the channels. Thanks for your support. Keep pushing, keep sharing these videos far and wide and, and others that are doing the same uh, job that we are trying to expose the totality of the system. Much love, source blessing. Namaste. Namaste.